What's going on guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here. We are back with another episode of The Walking Dead. This is season two, episode five. And we're just gonna jump in, man. Um you guys know that last episode Um advancing the story just a tiny bit. They still can't find Sophia. Um character development. I love the character development for, for um for Daryl. That was pretty cool. Um one of the grossest moments in the walking dead i have to say so far and they tried to pull that walker out of the well uh that was gross Ugh, uh, this hurts just to think about it um so we got glenn getting some some action um i think it was the worst possible time but <laughs> but it is what it is um yeah but Rick is trying to talk Herschel into letting them stay there for for a bit or for the time being, I guess. And Herschel hasn't really made up his mind yet. But, you know, he's talking about these rules that they got to follow his rules. Um, so nothing new, nothing new was introduced. Um, Carl is up. They still can't find Sophia. Uh, it's pretty much what's going on right now so i don't know what's the situation how we're gonna move forward from this let me check to see i don't want to see maybe i'm maybe i don't remember something that happened at the end of the last episode i don't remember um how the last episode ended i'm trying to remember because i'm oh yeah i i just remembered Lori finding out that she's pregnant yeah, that was the bombshell at the end of the episode. Just just remember before I even pull the episode up. Um, so, Lori remembering, not remembering, finding out that she's pregnant. And I was saying that this is going to cause a problem now because this could possibly, and I think that's why she's worried because otherwise she would be happy that she's pregnant, right? But this baby is potentially not Rick's child. It could be Shane's child. So, because they've been, I I think that's one of the reasons why they 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 um they introduce the condom situation with Glenn because the condom situation with Glenn because now we know oh shit they've been having sex all this time all beer backing it and shit. Shane and her been bumping and grinding <laughs> this this whole time without no condom so there's a possibility that the baby is not Rick's baby it's Shane's baby so that's going to cause a problem because she could easily play it off and be like it's not your baby but Shane is going to be like what are you talking about there's no possible way this dude has only been back for what you know what I'm saying how long have you been pregnant there's going to be it's going to just bring up a whole lot of questions you know what I'm saying? Because we'll see. We'll see. We're going to jump into this episode, man. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the journey with me. Some guys are really commenting on the video, leaving a like. I appreciate it. Getting uh, on an average about 50 views for um for the Walking Dead series so far on this channel. And I'm, I appreciate it. I appreciate it um, because I'm not current. And I'm al I am also noticed that a lot of people that are watching Walking Dead um, on this channel, they don't like the fact that I do full reactions. This is the one person that complained, but I'm feeling like a lot more people that watch The Walking Dead, they don't want full reactions. So I'm not complaining per se. It's just that I, I understand. Um, and there's always, I'm not going to tell you, you know, go someplace else to watch it or to enjoy enjoyed in uh um in a highlight format but i i'm thinking of doing highlights but maybe putting them up later because full reactions are way they're easier to upload they take longer to upload but they're easier to upload so i might just do a highlighted form of it maybe like a 10 minute um maybe like a 10 minute um highlight fashion reaction and just and link it just for you guys that wants 
to do that that wants to watch that i think maybe that's the best way to go so i'm gonna jump into this reaction i'm gonna try to get those highlights up but they're probably going to be uploaded later on they're not still not gonna be on youtube i'm probably just gonna put those on bitshoot.com you guys can go over watch the highlights instead of watching the full reactions okay so thank you guys for watching as always remember link is down in the description whether it's the highlights whether it's the um the full reaction whatever you prefer to watch i'm gonna try to make it available so if people prefer the highlights for for the walking dead i'm gonna try to convenience y'all as much as possible just know that the full reaction is going to be up before the highlights so so it's is it's gonna have to be because i have to edit the full reaction down to you know 10 minutes whatever the, the highlight moment so thank you guys for watching as always and i will see you guys for the review all right so we are back with the review of episode five it is yes episode five of the season two of the walking dead and man that was an episode great episode great acting great character development everything story moving forward a bit um i'm really really disappointed in shane's character right now i mean you know really disappointed in his character i don't know what where he's heading or what i understand that he's supposed to be that that hentai hero in in the series i understand that but the stuff the way how he thinks is just so weird for a per, for a person in survival it's like he doesn't care about anybody else other than Lori and carl with when he was with a group this whole time maybe he's salty because rick came in and rick kind of took charge um and he was the leader before so maybe he's salty because of that i don't know but his way of thinking is i don't think it was like that when we were just introduced to him i think he, as i said i think he's jealous of the fact that rick came in took his womb took what was belonged to him in the first place and basically he took over the group so the whole thing when they were talking about it at the beginning of the episode when they were saying that you know they're basically saying that Lori is like the first lady of the group you know she kind of speaks for them um so if you're implying that Lori is the first lady you're implying that um that rick is the leader he's the president so if you're implying that you know what i'm saying like it doesn't take a, a rocket science to figure out that he has taken charge of the group and he's does it's a natural ability as a leader as a leader you naturally end up in that position where people because you know how to make decisions you think on your feet you don't leave people behind people tend to follow people who are like that more than anything else so it's not a surprise to me that rick became the man you know what i'm saying that people look to in the group um remember the two most rebellious people were trying to leave which is andrea and shane so i'm it's just it's just kind of weird to me um how he's acting like i don't i don't get his calculations that's why i'm saying maybe he's just jealous um maybe he's just he he, he loves Lori so much and can't have Lori because Lori is like bitch my husband is back what do you want me to do you know what i mean so and now she has a dilemma with her being pregnant and don't know what to do if she should reveal that information um so there's that too they still can't find sophia so when it comes on to daryl daryl character really grew in my opinion it really grew because i don't know if he's actually thinking you know about the things that he was hallucinating about because when you're in extreme pain you can't hallucinate it's not because of drugs it's not always because of drugs when you like losing a lot of blood when enough oxygen is not going to your brain stuff like hallucination will happen it doesn't doesn't have to be you're on drugs to hallucinate so it's it's weird in a, in a sense that i mean he's he's such a great character right now in the series starting to become one of one of my favorite characters if not the favorite character um on the show right now which is daryl so because 
he's really the only one. I don't want to say he's the only one that's pushing the rescue, but he's really the only one that's kind of like going all out. He's he's always by himself checking for Sophia. He's the only one that has made progress on finding Sophia. So, um, and he's never afraid. You get what I'm saying? He's never afraid. Um, he had a bit of a dilemma with the hallucinations of his brother. His brother was trying to trick him into thinking, hey, man, why you let them bossing you around, Rick and Shane or whatever um, the situation is. So, let, and he was talking the truth back to his brother. He's like, dude, we came back for you. And you weren't there. So what do you want us to do? Like, and that's the truth of me. Like, he left. Like, and he didn't even go back to where they were. So if you left, if you cut your own arm off, why not go back to camp? You get what I'm saying? So everybody can have it out, whatever the situation is. Um, you know, but, you know, him, he's racist. So, you know, he's talking about niggers and all of this other stuff. And that's just, he needs, I don't need him in the show. Let, let's put it like that. I don't need him in the show. The two people that that did the um that talked about you know use the 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 the, um the bigoted terms you know what i'm saying those words that we don't like that i don't like to hear them period whether it's coming from a white guy black guy whatever the situation is i don't like to hear black people call people crackheads i don't and well crackheads crackers (laughs) right and i don't like to hear black people i don't like to hear white people call black people niggers especially um you know, in this climate that we're living in today, it's just not necessary. Like, I will say niggas, but that's a general term. It's not offensive to 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 anyone. If somebody says they don't they don't want to be called a nigga and they're black, I don't take offense of it. I just don't do it. You get what I'm saying? I just don't do it. Like if they ask me to, you get you get what I mean. Um, but I take offense to the word if a white person calls me a nigger. Um, with the R E R at the end, I take offense to it because we already know where that word is derived from. They you they use it in a demeaning way. You get what I'm saying? Um, when it comes on to black people calling people calling white people crackers, I always if they do it in my presence, I always reprimand them and let them know. Listen, you don't do that because that just makes you just as racist as them. So it doesn't matter. So, um, it doesn't matter what kind of excuses you're going to use. You can't be offended by a word. You can't be offended by a word that somebody else used and then you call them racist. And then when you use a racist words towards them and they say you're racist, you're like, no, black people can't be racist. That's dumb. Okay. So it's just to me when uh, those two people are out of the show right now which is the black lady that died in the CDC incident. And we have an, an old dude, um, Daryl's brother, right? So them two are out of the show. So good, good riddance. Um, people, I, I just don't like that kind of language. So how the episode ended was, was left to be a whole lot of questions. Can't wait to see the next episode um, with Glenn. She finally giving him a, giving him another chance to smash, you know what I'm saying? But he chose a place where they were hiding something, and you know what I'm guessing? I'm guessing these these people are their family that used to live on live on the ranch with them. I think these people are family, and they don't have the balls to kill them, and I think that's 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 the issue. You get what I'm saying? I think that's the issue. There's no other explanation to as to why they would be harboring freaking walkers because none of them are walkers. So why are they harboring walkers in a barn? Why would they be doing that? It's the only explanation I could think of is that their family, they turned or they put them in there before they turned because they didn't want to kill them and whatever the situation is. So we don't know. So, but I'm guessing we're going to find out what happens. I don't know if Maggie is going to try to kill Glenn. I don't know what's going to happen. So at this point, I don't want to speculate anything. I just want to see it happen, see what they're up to, what's, what is going to be her reaction to this and solution to this. Is she going to ask Glenn not to say anything? Is she going to explain, hey, these are our family. We couldn't kill them. They're our family, whatever the situation is. And you know, Glenn, Glenn is probably going to talk. He's probably going to say something. So, um, thank you guys for watching as always, man. These episodes are really dope. I love them. 
Um, and, you know, as we go forward and doing things, man, I just want you guys to keep supporting these videos. I've said before in, in my intro I'm about averaging around 50, you know, views on these and I'm, but I'm going to keep doing them. I'm going to keep doing them. As long as you guys keep liking, keep commenting, I will keep doing them. If you guys stop doing those things and you know, you're just clicking on it to watch me watch the series. Like I'm not going to do that. These I need these videos to get enough interaction so that other people can come in and enjoy the series with me also. As I said for you guys, I'm not doing this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I take a lot of time out of my time to do these videos so we can enjoy them together. And that's what I want them to do. I want other people to come in and enjoy it with me together. Because it's not about, you know what I'm saying? It's not about the views because I'm not crazy about views. But I'm telling you guys what's happening because... If I'm uploading them, that's time that I have to spend doing that too. So I like the interaction. I love the interaction, but I want the community to grow. I want the channel of Terabyte Reacts to grow. And that can't happen if you guys are not interacting with the videos. So, um, but as I said, I love the growth, whatever we have about, I think per episode, I have about a hundred people watching, but on average, it's around 50. You get what I'm saying? Like over time, it goes up to around how it goes up to about 100, 150 views over time. But on average, like when my videos release, um, it goes up to 50 really quick. So I'm just measuring that that time space. You know what I'm saying? Like I measure things based on the day when it's released to the next day. So like what happens in the 48 hours the video is released to see really how many people on the channel really is is watching you get what i'm saying or looking for these reactions to come out so thank you guys for watching as always man remember to subscribe if you have not yet um like the video comment on the video also you are terabyte reacts i am uh, I messed up my outro. What what the hell? You are Terror Squad. <laughs> I am Terabyte Reacts. I will see you guys for the next episode. Peace.